As of July 31, 2023, Ghana's outstanding loans to the IMF reached a substantial special drawing rights equivalent to $2.227 billion. This is $451 million increase from the $1.246 billion recorded just three months earlier on April 30, 2023. The increase in debt can be attributed to a $600 million bailout package that Ghana secured from the IMF in June 2023. Ghana's loans from the Bretton Woods Institution are categorized as concessional lending with favorable terms, including low interest financing, which is critical for the country's economic recovery efforts. Better to borrow from the IMF than to borrow from the capital market. However, too much of debt also has problems because it's not free, it has to be repaid at some point in time. So that will have repercussions on our expenditure because we have to service these loans. So as we borrow, we ought to caution government that our appetite to borrow, especially from the capital market, to be kept. I'm not saying that's the best option. The best option is for us to raise resources domestically. Uh, however, if we have to borrow, then let's borrow from the IMF and the World Bank and other bilateral donors, but within sustainable debt limits. Democratic Republic of Congo is the second debtor to IMF with $1.142 billion. Kenya maintains its position as the third most indebted African nations to the IMF as of July 31, 2023 with SDR $1.008 billion.